Good morning, everybody. In order to appreciate what we are doing, celebrating our, fi our faith in this Eucharist, and we have just listened to the Word of God. The context in order to appreciate this, this, this what we are doing is our life. Life is a journey. Our life is a journey. And for us Christian Catholics, our journey ends where Jesus says, in my Father's house. Before, he, before his passion and death, he assures his disciples, his apostles, do not let your hearts be troubled. In my Father's house, there are many dwelling places. And I will be going there to prepare a place for you. So that when everything is prepared, I will return and take you to myself. So that where I am, you also may be. That's the end of our journey. But in this journey, which we are now on the 11th day of the 12th month of the year, how many months have we journeyed? March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November. Now we are in December. Slowly and little by little, we continue with our journey. But in this year, our journey is quite different because of the pandemic. That pandemic has made us fearful. Fearful because it is based on, I don't know. I don't know what will happen to me, what will happen to my family. I don't know what will happen to everybody. I don't know. And because I don't know, I am fearful. Natatakot ako dahil wala akong kaalam-alam. And in this journey also, we kind of, while looking forward to a Christmas break, some would not be able to do so. Disappointed, sad. But the celebration of the Advent season reminds us that there is Christmas. Otherwise, what are we celebrating in Advent if there is no Christmas? Advent reminds us that Jesus is coming and we are celebrating His first coming in spite of the dangers and the risks that we are confront confronting in this journey. But on the other hand, there are also signs of hope in this journey. That giant pharmaceuticals are now announcing because they're coming out with the vaccine. In the, United, in the United Kingdom, the first patient has, been, has received the vaccine, an old lady. And in our country now, specifically the mayor of Quezon City is already speaking about the how and for whom will be the distribution of the vaccine. So little by little, little by little, we are being asked to be patient, to, be, to persevere, because actually hope is coming in form of a vaccine, but also, and most especially because of our faith, Christmas is coming. And also another source of hope is what the ABS-CBN has come out with, it's identification for Christmas. Ikaw ang liwanag, ikaw ang liwanag at ligaya. Tayong lahat ay liwanag at ligaya. So that should booster up our spirits because we're being addressed as the source of light and joy. So this is the context of our journey today. On the 11th day of the 12th month of the year. So in this journey, we find fellow travelers like the prophet Isaiah in the first readings, like St. Matthew in his early Christian community in the gospel. And we are also accompanied in our travel today by Saint Damasus the first. So let, let, uh, let, us, let us allow them to speak to us, to encourage us. From the first reading, the prophet Isaiah reminds the people of God 
of their relationship with God based on the covenants. And here, the prophet Isaiah promises again to the people of Israel, if you are faithful to the covenants, you will experience prosperity. You'll be like a river that overflows. Those are images, but what the prophet is saying is that your faithfulness to the relationship with God will have its reward and recompense. In the gospel today, St. Matthew speaks about the difficulty of following, let us say, a religion. That's following, following a faith. Because here, St. Matthew, perhaps seeing and observing the reaction of the early Christian community with regards to Jesus, with regards to their mission activity, he compares it making Jesus speak to children. And Jesus speaks about children who are telling one another, Hoy, tumutugtog kami para sa patay, hindi naman kayo umiiyak. Tumutugtog naman kami para sa fiesta, hindi, kami, hindi naman kayo natutuwa. And he, he comes down to speak about St. John the Baptist. St. John the Baptist comes and he was very austere, very humble, and you say, he's possessed by demons. And then the Son of Man comes, and you say, lasinggero. At kung sino-sino ang, ang kinakasama, ang kahalu, halubilo. So, this brings us precisely to the idea, how about us? How do we look at our Christian religion? Some would look at the Christian religion as a, from the, from the perspective of strict observance, observance of the law. Others would like to celebrate their Christian faith from the perspective of Jesus. Jesus, who had suffered and died and rose again, and therefore is the cause of our joy. So Christian actually must be joyful for what the Lord has done. So here, St. Matthew is telling us today, focus on Jesus. Focus on what Jesus did for you. If Jesus in his suffering and dying and rising from the dead expresses the love of God for you, edi tumbasan mong pagmamahal ng Panginoon sa pamagitan ng pagmamahal sa Kanya at sa kapwa. Say, uh, the prophet Isaiah reminds us that our relationship with Jesus, our relationship with God, has its recompense. Has its recompense. Then finally, St. Damasus I is remembered among many other things. First of all, because if we are venerating the saints nowadays, nowadays, we owe it to him because he established the cult to the saints, especially during his time to the martyrs. Then he is also known for introducing this should, this should um, encourage the students of Latin, he introduced the Latin language in the liturgy of the Mass. And from then on, 300-something to 1975, Latin had been the language of the Church, especially in the celebration of the liturgy. And he is also remembered because during that time, St. Jerome was composing the Latin Bible and Saint um, Damasus the first encouraged him. And during his administration, it was Saint Damasus the first who practically compiled what we know now as the Bible. So we owe a lot of him. And in our journey, he's also telling us, in spite of the difficulties of your journey, look at me. There are so many things in life that we have to do. If you have if you have sick relatives at home, take care of them. If you have children who have difficulties with their online learning, teach them. Don't forget about yourself. Be careful when you go out. Don't assume that, that just because the vaccines, are, uh, the vaccines are coming that you can already do what you want to do. No. 
think of the others as well. Don't just think of yourself. Think of others. How would you, how would you affect them with regards to the health? So here we have lots of things to do actually. And those who are traveling with us in this journey today on the 11th day of the 12th month of the year, they are telling us the main focus is Jesus. And finally, last December 8th, uh, the Holy Father Francis had established between 8th of December 2020 until 8th of December 2021, it is the year of St. Joseph. It would be good if before you come to the Mass quite early, have some time to talk with St. Joseph. Spend some time with the one who looked after the Blessed Mother and her son Jesus, and who has been declared the guardian and patron of the church. And finally, this year, we will honor him until 8th of December 2020. So let what we have reflected on, let what our celebration is all about, be a source of strength and hope for us as we continue in our journey.